this is kind of the heartbeat of the egg operation because this was primarily an egg farm although it was also they had a, from 17 to 20 dairy cattle okay when they were down there working and somebody drove up they could see them in the mirror oh. so they'd come out and go and see what <laughs> it was they wanted whether they were going to buy milk or eggs or whatever and you never paid for anything at the time that you bought it, either here or at the stores on the island. You, they would write you out, they'd have a book. In fact, I've got one in the house there. They'd have a book that they would have your name on the outside of it, and they'd keep your track of your accounts in there. And it was pretty hard to get anybody to send a bill. I bet. Hard to figure one out. <laughs> But they have Johnson Brothers written on or, or um, Rudy Johnson says on one of them. Okay. That's John Levang down there sawing, running his uh, circular saw. No, I have lost somebody. No, she's not coming down. She's here. Oh, well, you're missing something. Lena, what? come on down. She won't start without you. All right, I'm down here. Um, okay, to start with, um, the, they hired all the young people here on the island, worked at one time or another for the Johnson boys, and they were very, very good to their help. Okay, and then they would, they would take a sandpaper on a block and an egg, and if it was dirty, they would clean it by hand. Wow. So then... They got real modern, and they. Can you reach that? Thank you. They got real modern, and they got this machine, which is quite a machine. Now there was a little water would run down on this, on these brushes. And we would turn the machine off. Oh. And the egg, put the eggs in here. And he's going to go very well. I'm just going to put him in. And it would turn. You see, it would turn it, would turn it, and wash it, and wash it. go down the other side. Mm -hmm. It's a song round and around and it comes out here. <laughs> and then it would roll down on these rollers, which are pretty bad shape, so that they're I'm not going to be able to roll it down the rollers. But I always thought that the way they told the size of an egg was because they looked at it. Right. Well, that isn't true. It's weighed. Right. Oh, really? So, those are very delicate scales. Yeah. Come on, go. Your egg doesn't operate. No, it isn't balanced right. So, there. That's going to go off the end. You want to catch it? <laughs> so, someday we're going to have the right weight of eggs so that we can show you that. If it's an extra large, it'll come off here. Oh, wow. Large, medium, and small. Oh. Well, these, yeah, these need to have something in them because they're just the well, thin shells. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's heavy enough that it should have. But it isn't balanced right. See, it's got yeah, sand true. or something yeah, in it. True. It yeah, needs yeah, to be something true. that's all the way through the egg. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think maybe I'll start putting a hard boiled egg. Yeah. Because that should be the right that weight. Should do it. Sure. Sure. Yeah. That might work. 
If you need some smaller ones, I have candling eggs. You'd lay them there and there'd be a candle underneath there and you'd look and see if there was mm -hmm. any imperfections or blood mm -hmm. or anything in the egg. If there was, it went out for, for uh, animal food. And uh, then, uh, well, I'll show you. Uh, oh, in flocks and the whole chicken. Yes. That's what I assumed. They didn't have individual cages or anything. They just no, they were the just... Flock. Did they allow the chickens to r r run free or anything? No. Or? They were kept right in the building. They, they left, they would let out a few chickens for the local people. And then they could come and get the free run chickens. But the others were for eggs. Mm -hmm. And just later, so they, so. yeah. Well, so there were the nests. Ones out people wanted to eat, you mean, wanted yeah. to eat. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. So there were nests and roose. Nest box. And the open goes floor. Through. Yeah, there goes our nest gang. No. Come on in. These are what we found down in the barn. Took them out of the burn pile. We don't need any more of them. Yeah, I don't think so. This is uh, just a small scale to show you the whole process of raising chickens for eggs. This is an incubator. And you would fill these with eggs and uh, then you'd have to turn them twice a day, pretend you were an old hen. Over here on the side was a kerosene heater that kept at the right temperature all the way through. And then after the chickens hatched out, you might leave them in here for a day or two or three. And then you would put them on the floor underneath this thing here, which is called a brooder. And it has its kerosene heater. And we'll <coughs> This is one of the types of watering and the mm -hmm. chicken feeders. This is a bone grinder. And all the bones <coughs> from all the cat, cattle or whatever there was on the, island, on the farm were ground in here and used for calcium for the chickens. Wow. Oh. Bone meal. Uh -huh. Bone meal. And then this was an alfalfa grinder and they would grind the alfalfa up so that the chickens could eat it readily. And the roosts were like this, and the nests. And of course, a chicken always went back to its own nest because it was trying to raise a family and we were certainly getting in its way, but mm. it would always go back and, and try and, have, and hatch. Now this <coughs> is a chicken de beaker. Now chickens are very mean, mm -hmm. and they can peck and they can even kill each other mm -hmm. if they uh, are allowed to. So <clears throat> this is electric, it would be plugged in. This bar would get red hot, and then you would put the chicken's beak there, which is just like cutting your fingernail. This doesn't mm -hmm. hurt the chicken at all, it just sears it, and then you... <coughs> Push down. The guillotine. <laughs> and that, squawk, squawk, squawk. <laughs> now, I'm sure they don't use that method anymore, but we called out to one of the chicken farms in uh, Thurston County and asked them about it, and they said, oh, yeah, they used to use those, but said they had more modern methods that they use now. What you mean? Well, we didn't hurt them. Didn't hurt them a bit. Now, this is one of the ways that they um, weighed the eggs uh, would be the same purpose as all those little things. Mm -hmm. There's a line back across here, there's a light that shines through there, and then you put the egg here and it puts this up to whatever level, and then you can see <coughs> whether it's large, medium, or what it is. And then this is <clears throat> a very bright light here, and you put the egg there, and that candles it. You can look through it mm -hmm. and see everything that's in the egg. And this is my chicken, actually, the chicken. I think that's neat. 
So how often did they make a delivery to wherever their mainland customer was? Well, probably about once a week. Mm -hmm. Took them down, put them in a rowboat, and rode off to the... Or mainland. put them on the steamships that came through, yeah. or the mosquito fleet would pick up some things, their produce. Uh, there was a truck farm down on uh, Amsterdam Bay where we live, and um, they raised a lot of tomatoes and different things. They had uh, greenhouses, and, mm -hmm. and those were all shipped out on, on the ship.